All right, quick video from The Geek. Uh, if you are like me, you get tired of joining into YouTube channels uh, or YouTube streams or watching the videos here only to find out that they have decided for some reason that they want your video quality to either go to audio, auto or to like 360 or 480. This was happening to me quite often on CBs. Uh, streams and several other streams so I got a little frustrated on the phone uh, you can set them permanently on Android and, and iOS I'll do a different video on that because I have took my phone up to show how to do that but this is specifically for for those using a uh, Chrome browser or for Firefox I'm going to show you how to get an extension uh, that will resolve this issue and set it to a permanent resolution for you so that you know every time you access from your PC which is usually hardwired or on a really good Wi-Fi uh, you're going to get at least whatever resolution you want. Me, I have uh, 2 gig up and down, so I prefer having at least 1080p on my streams. The maximum, well, not really the maximum. I'm not going to do 4K, but you know what I mean. I don't want to watch somebody's grainy thing that they've got a 1080p. The other part of the problem, the downside is the content creator. I really wish YouTube would understand uh, and get with, I don't know why it does it in Chrome, since Google owns both Chrome and YouTube, Firefox maybe, but YouTube really needs to understand that a lot of the people um, blame the content creators because they don't know any better when the streams are low res, and it's not the content creators, it's just YouTube going down to lower res. So, if you are in Chrome, you're going to go out, and I'll put the links in the description below, you're going to go out and you're going to get... <clears throat> um. Can I move that? Nothing's locked. Anyways, you're going to get um, auto quality for YouTube, right? And what you'll install, it shows installed on mine. But you're going to grab it. And then you come, once it's installed, you're going to come over here in the top right hand corner. It might be a little hard to see. My mouse is moving around it. There's going to be a puzzle looking piece, right? You're going to click on that. This is going to show your extensions. Okay. Pin it. Click on the pin. All right. What that does is it puts a setting right here, right? Auto quality for YouTube has access to the site. Then all you're going to do is click on that and select the resolution that you want. I have it at 1080p. Don't worry about auto pause video. Don't want to mess with that. YouTube gaming, disable this if you're experiencing problems. It was checked by say by default for me. I have not had any issues. I've been doing this for two weeks. So there you go. Go to the, this will be, if you're using Chrome, click on this extension on the bottom, um, install it, then go to the puzzle piece here, pin it so it's actually on the, uh, the bar makes it easier to use. You can set it and then uncheck it if you don't want to have it pinned because you want to have a cleaner bar. For this purpose, I have it pinned right now. Click on the cogwheel uh, from the YouTube. If you'll notice, you might click on it here and you'll be like, well, it's not working. Uh, that's because you actually have to be on YouTube's site for the, uh, the interface to work for Chrome. Okay, And what that does, every time I put up somebody's channel, and our str their, their content, whether they're live streaming or if it's static content that they've uploaded, there you go. Quality is at 1080p by default. Now, if you use Firefox, it's a little bit different, but you can go out and you can get what's called the YouTube High Definition um, add-on. <clears throat> All you're going to do is you come out here, you're going to click on Install. It's going to do a pop-up. You have to, to click on it to allow it to run in private and then it'll it install, and then you get this icon right here. This has got a little bit more functionality to it, but I left everything normal ex ex to the YouTube defaults except for the video quality where I have selected HD 1080p. Now this works in any, any browser, any URL, and then now that I have installed that, yes, I'm shamelessly plugging one of my God's of War videos, um, here we go. Uh, and it is now putting that at default 1080p. So that's how you get through that on Chrome and on Firefox. Uh, the My understanding, I haven't played with it yet because I don't use Edge a lot anymore, is the auto quality for YouTube is also available on Edge. Um, 
so you can do the install and would do the same thing uh, as uh, as you did here. Anyways, as uh, if you guys got any questions on it, please let me know. Uh, if you want to see some more technical videos or anything, please let me know as well. I'm doing uh, God of War playthrough videos right now. I'll be doing a couple new, more Destiny 2 videos. Uh, and then uh, I'll be doing Hogwarts. And there's a couple other games coming out that I'll be playing. I've got a couple DaVinci Resolve videos I've been meaning to work on. And um, yeah, I do a variety of that stuff. And then i got a 3D print troubleshooting video that's going to be interesting where I take the uh, print extractor, extruder apart to show you guys how easy it is to actually fix that stuff um, again if you like the content and it helps a lot for me please hit that subscribe button um, I'm close to the thousand subscriber goal I, I can't believe how close I am and YouTube keeps doing the thing I'll have a couple more and then a couple less and um, I think it's, it's a heart attack every time I wake up so I just started to stop watching it I, I didn't notice the number till today or this morning but uh, if you like the content please subscribe um, it does mean a lot to me if you have questions, comments, you can leave them here in the, the comments below. You can leave them, hit me up on Discord, send me a Twitter DM, uh, or hit the comments of the community tab inside of YouTube. You guys and gals are awesome. Everybody out there is awesome, and uh, you have a great day, and stay safe out there, and then I will see you in-game or around. And let me know what you're playing, by the way. I'm very curious. Anyways, see you all around.